Good afternoon, everyone. We are live in Liberty this Monday afternoon to give you a week's worth of events. And we have a lot of special guests here with us today. We're going to show them to you in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead and run through Monday and Tuesday events. Monday, today the 19th, we have Community Power Yoga at the Heinzville Live Oak Public Library at 640, and that is free. Also today, the American Legion Post 168 will have their weekly fundraising bingo night, and that begins at 6.45 p.m. Join in a chance to win the $500 jackpot. Also today, the City of Gumbridge will have their council meeting at 7.30 p.m. On Tuesday the 20th, there's free enrollment and renewal assistance for Medicaid and Peach Care for Kids, and that's from 9 to 4 at the United Way office on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. WorkSource Coastal, the Hinesville Job Center, also located on MLK, will host an effective networking workshop from 9 to 10 a.m. and an Attitude is Everything workshop from 10 to 11 a.m. There's Open Computer Lab at the Hinesville Live at Public Library at 12.30 and Medicare 101 begins at 3 p.m. at the Hinesville Live at Public Library. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Petula Gamillion. Petula is here today to talk to us about an upcoming event for CASA. Thank you for coming, Petula. So what, what, what does CASA have going on? Well, CASA, we have our fifth annual Dancing with the Stars of the Coastal Empire. All right. And that's going to be on March the 3rd um, at the Liberty County Performing Arts Center starting at 7 p.m. Unless, unless you are fortunate to have a VIP ticket, and then you are welcome to come to our pre-reception that starts at 6 o'clock. Very cool. Well, now, who are some of the dancers this year? Well, some of the dancers are some familiar faces. Okay. Uh, we are bringing about back some of our former winners, and that is Nina Dean. She was best female winner for last year. We have B. Wickens, that was the best female performer from the year previously. Um, and then we have some newcomers. Um, we have Justin Frazier, that was the best male, best male um, performer for 20, I believe that was 2015. And then we have two new um, uh, candidates that have come in to join us. They said they didn't want to wait. Um, to uh, not to do it on a non-all-star um, mm -hmm. weekend, so hey, they are ready to do it. Right. And what does CASA support? Explain. CASA is Court Appointed Special Advocates, and what we do is recruit individuals in the community to advocate for a child that's been placed in foster care. And so we do that at court, we visit them in their foster settings, and we advocate for their rights. Mm -hmm. Tell them one more time the date, and where can they buy tickets? The date is March the 3rd, 2018 at 7 p.m. at the Liberty County Performing Arts Center and you can pick up tickets by asking a star. They have all the tickets available. All right. Thank you so much, Julia, for coming on. Right. I appreciate Thank you for having me. Not a problem. All right. On Wednesday of this week, the 21st, there's coffee and conversation all about art. That's from 10 to 11 at Southern Suites. Also, AARP free tax prep assistance from IRS certified volunteers from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Hinesville branch of the Live Oak Public Library. There's a diabetes support group that meets at Diversity Health Center and Conference and Training Building at 4 o'clock. And then Hip Hop Fitness from 6 to 7 at the YMCA. And then Azure Creativity Art Studio at the Hinesville Area Arts Council will be hosting a Kids Bubblegum Abstract Art Class from 6 to 7 p.m. and that's $20 per class. On Thursday, the 22nd, WorkSource Coastal Hinesville Job Center will have a job search method workshop from 2 to 3 and a goal setting workshop from 3 to 4. Active Parenting of Teens workshop hosted by Helen's Haven meets at 5 p.m. That is free, but you must pre-register. The teen group meets at the same time as the parent group. And then there's also the Needle Craft Club meets at 6 p.m. at the Hinesville Live Oak Public Library. At this time, I'd like to introduce our next set of guests. We have Dr. Cindy Byler with Connection Church. She's here to tell us about an upcoming conference at Connection Church. Dr. Byler, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us today. We're having our second annual Fierce Conference. It's a ladies' conference. It'll be Friday the 23rd at 7 p.m. Doors are open about 6 or 6.30. And then on Saturday, we'll start at, well, the doors open at 8, and we have a breakfast cooked by men, our men at the church. Okay. Uh, so it'll be full breakfast of eggs and bacon for all the <laughs> bacon lovers. <laughs> and <laughs> charms in the background. Okay, the Charminator. The Charminator is here with her gloves on. And we'll start workshops at 9 a.m. And then we'll start with our guest speaker on, at 10 a.m. with Tracy Mack from Raleigh, North Carolina. And is there a cost to attend? It's $20. $20. You can buy tickets at the door when you come in or you can stop by Connection Church. Okay, why is Charm in boxing gloves? <laughs> well, our... Our theme 
this year is strong, okay. and um, this is the Charminator. This is the Charminator. She is strong and fierce. So you should come just to see Miss Charm in boxing gloves. <laughs> that would be worth the experience right there, in addition to all the great speakers and having men cookie breakfast. That sounds pretty mm -hmm. yummy, too. Is there anything that we've left out, Dr. Bob? Anything else you want to say? Well, Libby's here. Yeah, come on, Libby. All right. <laughs> Hello. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we have a lot of um, businesses in the, in the community that have donated baskets. So we'll be doing a basket raffle. And uh, you want to come by and check those out. And we have free child care in this year, oh, awesome. provided by the Girl Scouts. And they will have cookies for sale. Ooh. So the, the cookies are for sale. And got the cookie. child care is free. So we would love to have you all come out. Very cool. Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Let us know if we forgot anything. We'll get the info out there for you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. On Friday, the 23rd, the Eastern Star Pancake Supper fundraiser is at 6 o'clock at the Maswell Masonic Lodge 271 on E.G. Miles Parkway. That's $5 for a choice of three flavors of pancakes, sausage or bacon, eggs, and a beverage. And you contact Cindy Hawking. 912-572-2857 for more info on that. Farmers Natural Foods is hosting a free movie night beginning at 7 featuring the film called Is Sugar the New Fat? Snacks will be provided, I'm assuming sugar free, as well as door prizes and a 15% store discount. On Saturday, my gracious half this page is Saturday. Liberty Regional Homeless Coalition needs volunteers to help sort clothing donated by the community. The project begins at 8 a.m. and will continue until it's complete. And that's at Victory Assembly of God, which is on General Stewart. Lunch will be provided. The Great American Cleanup with Keith Liberty Beautiful at the City of Gum Branch from 8.30 to noon. If you contact KLB to sign up your business team or group, you receive a free t-shirt. You can reach them at 880-4888. African American Genealogy 101 Workshop from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Midway First Presbyterian Church. There is a registration cost of $50. Coastal Campaign for Healthy Kids will be at the Hansville Live Oak Public Library from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and also at the Midway and Riceboro Library from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. providing application assistance. There's a free workshop as part of the Women Empowering Women series. Credit Lending and How to Increase Your Credit Score will be at 11 a.m. at A Plus Realty Group on E.G. Miles Parkway. The Liberty County NAACP is hosting a Black History Program Community Mass Meeting on Economic Development Focusing on African American and women entrepreneurs from 4 to 6 p.m. at Trinity Missionary Baptist Temple on Live Oak Drive, and that is free and open to the public. Forever Riding and Bojangles are hosting a top five cruise in that begins at 6 p.m. at Bojangles in Hinesville. There's free registration for cars, trucks, SUVs, and bikes, and Bojangles will offer a 10% discount on all orders. There will be raffles and trophies for the top five best vehicles. There's a Bob Ross oil painting class Saturday and Sunday with Miss Nancy Melcher. Call 912-335-6655 to reserve your spot or for more information. And then kicking it with CASA, kickball turning. We heard from Tula just a little bit ago. Um, at Liberty Independent Troop Park begins at 3 p.m. And then on Sunday, there's Old Timey Day at Historic Seabrook Village from 12 to 4. That's free and open to the public to enjoy house tours, food waste demos, cane grinding, and to talk about the restoration of Seabrook Village. And that's from 1 to 3 p.m. And then the Go Red Bowling Tournament at Marn Lanes on Fort Stewart's from 3 to 7 p.m. There is a non-bowler entry fee of $5. As always, if you have not heard your event today, you can get it to us by email at tourism at libertycounty.org. Give us a phone call at 912-368-4445 or upload it to our website yourself, libertycounty.org. Some ongoing events real quick to run through. WorkSource Coastal has free youth GED classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 3 Adult GED classes Monday through Thursday from 6 to 9. An orientation workshop is offered every Tuesday from 3 to 4 and Thursday from 9 to 10. Camellia Days at Dunham Farms, um, those will end, um, begin, sorry, begin in February. For more information or to book a tour, 912-880-4500. 4-H is still collecting old shoes throughout the month of February and March to be recycled and gently worn shoes to be donated. You can drop them off at the Liberty County 4-H office or give them a call to pick them up. Free income tax prep at the United Way Coastal Empire Liberty County office began February 3rd and continues until March 17th. That's every Tuesday and Saturday. And then Fort Stewart Hunter Army Airfield is hiring for summer lifeguards now. You must be 16 years or older. You don't have to have any experience and they will provide the two weeks of paid training to become an American Red Cross certified lifeguard. You apply at usajobs.gov. 
As always, we hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.